All right then, gang. So we're well on our way to getting this whole authentication flow in this application complete. But there's still a bit to do. And there's also a little problem that I want to address in this video. So right now we're logged into the application and I can tell that because we see these links in the nav bar. That's fine for being logged in. Now, if we were logged out, then we'd see sign up or log in or something like that. And that's fine as well. But pay attention to this. If I refresh the page, look at the links over here. We notice those are the two links flash up quickly, sign up and log in before these appear. Now, why is that? Because that's a bad user experience. I'm logged in and I don't want to see those other links flashing. Well, the reason behind this is because this component, and in fact, the whole application for that matter, is loading and being rendered to the DOM before Firebase authentication is initialized and before Firebase can figure out that we're actually logged in to the application. So we don't want that. We want a way to prevent our application from being rendered to the DOM until authentication is initialized, until Firebase figures out that we're logged in or logged out, then we can render stuff to the DOM. And then we're never gonna get that little flash in between. So how do we do this? Well, pretty simply. We wanna go over to our index.js file. This is where we render the application to the DOM right here, right? But what we want to do is wait until Firebase authentication has initialized and then render it to the DOM. So how do we do that? Well, this thing here, React Redux Firebase, we can pass in a config option as a second parameter to. And one of these options inside here is attach auth is ready. And we're gonna set that equal to true. And what that does is allow us to access a property on store or rather a method called Firebase auth is ready. So what we can do with that is as follows. We can say store.firebase auth is ready and then this returns a promise and it waits for firebase initialization to occur and then we can fire this callback function so inside this callback function we can do something now all we need to do is take this stuff and place it inside here and now what we're doing is not rendering this to the dom until firebase auth is ready so we're waiting now until Firebase figures out that we're logged in and our React app figures out that we're logged in and then we're rendering the stuff to the DOM. So now we won't get that little flicker. So let's save this and view this in the browser and notice we didn't get that flicker. I'll refresh and again, we don't get that flicker. So that's all done now. That's all there is to it. Now we're telling our application to wait. Don't render to the DOM until Firebase auth is ready.